all technologically based realities work on fundamental principles they work on increments of what can be best described as time or cycles or movements like on a watch on a watch on a watch there are markers of time and on complicated uh, watches there are different dials to indicate different um, processions of time different cycles the earth reality has many of these smaller indicators but what happens in these cycles is that one can change the cycle one can interrupt or reset some of these smaller cycles the larger cycles are under the dominion of larger beings cosmic being but the smaller cycles for example the the last two thousand years they can be influenced and controlled by smaller beings the smaller beings learned how to reset the clocks this is why many aspects of our life are looping for example there is the looping of violence the looping of war the looping of authoritarianism tyranny the looping of disease the inability for many years for humans to ascend even the proper knowledge is made available and a lot of the sacred knowledge on how to ascend reality how to escape the material world has been uh, covered up contained made secret the beings these smaller beings these are ignorant beings they no longer can relate to the cosmic ideals but the larger circles of time the larger cycles now are catching up to them they've managed to delay and reset and escape and reincarnate to their ends there is no more room for their cyclical uh, behavior so their skills are now coming to an end and the larger cycles of time the more uh, the more skilled cosmic beings are now limiting their cycle to what it was supposed to be at some time ago so they're not allowed now to change the cycle in their favor again they are trying an attack of uh, war the, the the negative impression of a war or a flu outbreak is designed to cripple or harm the technological reality you see that the, the war damages the technological evolution of reality it's like you throwing a, a steel bar into a turbine and the turbine is not going to run at the right RPM you're damaging the system but because we live in a psychical or thought-based realm if you damage if you throw a crowbar into the thought of people such as a war or mass murder or an artificial earthquake or an artificial flu outbreak which is a bioweapon you're throwing a crowbar into the thought matrix you're changing the turbine of thought in that moment of damage because the damage can be recuperated but in that period of recuperation these master programmers can go into the reality 
and change events in their favor so that when reality comes back online everything turns to them you see this is ignorance this is what an inferior being will attempt to do and they have been doing because society is not aware that they live in a technological reality and that negative events like war, like outbreaks, like corruption, like bailouts, these are all happening on multiple dimensions, not only the physical dimension, but on other dimensions. But they work on other dimensions, but they need to impact the physical dimension. Most people, 99%, only see the physical dimension and their empty bank account if there's a financial bailout and there's an economic collapse. But on, a, on other dimensional levels, there is a hijacking of the reality. There is an alteration of the code so that the light shines on them. They come out as the good guy. They remain in power. They acquire more power. More resources shift towards them their modality of thinking becomes the ideal, becomes the norm. But all of this is a manipulation. It is a reprogramming by those people who understand the multiple dimensions. But their clock now is running out. Their cycle is running dry. They're not able to change it as they did before. They are being restricted. In their restriction, they will become more desperate, but they are also weaker as society rises up. So I realize that discussing the technological reality escapes most people, and most people can't see mul multiple dimensions at the same time. Because it is a process, we have to relearn that skill. Ultimately, we are multi-dimensional beings and what happens on a physical plane is only what happens on a physical plane, but there are multiple planes. You can call them whatever you like. My perspective is that they are technological planes. So we're coming now to the end of all of these little cycles because the larger cycles are now conspiring to limit the damage, the destruction, and the corruption, to erase the corruption and introduce the new energies, the new ideas. Because what they've also done by, by continually damaging the cycles, they've unsynchronized our temporal scales, which is why I talk about the year 2011 and, 2000 and 2218, 2218 and 2011. Because we should have been in the year 2218 as of March 21st, 2011. Should have been 2218, but it's not. As you can see on your calendar, it's 2011. We are 207 years out of sync. This is how much damage they've done of all of their negative events, of all the negative impression, the damage to the thought fields, and all of their reincarnation to usurp and hijack the reality. We're 207 years off. We would be out of war. We would be out of this misery and out of suffering. We would have realized the technological basis upon which all life exists. So as we start to synchronize with that, with the help of grander cosmic instruments, we're going to notice, we're going to see the, the old ideas and the new ideas. There's going to be a lot of talk about this. Old world, new world. Old technology, new technology. War is an old technology. It's been around for thousands and tens of thousands of years. Why is it still here? Unless somebody wants it to be here and we've been convinced to keep it here but the new technology is like love and peace you know so 
that isn't that's been around for a couple of thousand years but people don't understand it so it's a process of us deleting and eliminating and discontinuing old ideas old technologies like hate violence war disease and introducing new ideas like cooperation collaboration health peace knowledge awareness ascension so these two worlds exist because we are unsynchronized we are out of sync and now we need to synchronize and that's the process so we keep moving forward until we have a repair and then everything will start to make sense and we will see things in a whole new way so we have to endure the process and expand our thinking religions are old ideas spirituality is a kind of in-between bridge there are other ideas new ideas so reality works on these clocks these cycles and these cycles these clocks were built by technicians engineers and they're managed by technicians engineers you know the cosmos does not orchestrate itself it has engineers and technicians repairmen and craftsmen the worlds are crafted time is monitored events are monitored if we allow violence to continue the technicians might allow violence to continue because we are not ready to accept the new stage so we are also part of the process our willingness to explore new ideas allows those cosmic technicians to change the cycle in our favor according to our awareness if our awareness is restricted and kept down and depressed and suppressed then the cosmic beings will see they cannot handle a change and this is what the leaders of the world want they want to keep you down because they know that your awakening also awakens the the coordination and help of genuine cosmic beings so I think this is where we're at we need to realize that our movement forward our stepping forward also brings in those new personalities those new people why haven't the ships landed part of the reason is because we haven't stepped forward enough and those who have have been abused so when society says hey we believe in starships and star men and women the star men and starships and star women will show up prior to our belief they won't show up you know first you believe and then it appears but we've been trained now to not believe until there's enough proof there's enough experimentation there's enough science behind it so that we can believe you see so we're at this point cycles are changing but they're not changing because they're changing they're not changing because some group or society predicted or prophesized they would change the cycles are changing because they are being changed by engineers and technicians now these engineers are perhaps beyond our capacity to understand they're, they're grandiose they're extremely complex technological beings so the human mind will say well no no it's a cycle because the so-and-so said so was written in a book somewhere no nothing happens according to the book this is what the programmers are trying to make you believe they look at the book and they alter reality to to make the prophecy come true 
But the cosmic beings don't read any books. They have not read Revelations. They don't know the Mayans. They don't care about the Mayans. They run according to the cosmic authorities. They run according to our cosmic awareness. If our cosmic awareness improves, reality shifts naturally. They shift it. And then it echoes down into the physical plane. It's not some prophecy. It's not a revelation. We are living in a manufactured environment. All dimensions are manufactured. But it's so advanced, it appears real. It appears natural. It's seamless technology. But when you see through the technology, you realize that this is magical technology well beyond our comprehension.